On the 26th of May, the voters in Belgium are heading to the polls to elect a new national parliament, the so-called Chamber of Representatives. The Chamber of Representatives is de facto the lower house in the bicameral federal parliament of Belgium, the other being the Senate. We at Europe Elects are proud to introduce the main political parties and electoral alliances running. Belgium is a bit of a mess if it comes to the political party system, because different from most countries. We have two, three, or some would even argue four different political party systems within one EU member state. Northern Belgium, the region of Flanders, is dominated by a Flemish-speaking population and by Flemish parties. Southern Belgium, the region of Wallonia, is dominated by French speakers and Walloon parties. In Eastern Belgium, a small German-speaking minority has its own parties as well. These are not very dominant in a national election, but, for example, run independently for one seat for the German community of Belgium in the EU Parliament. Flemish and Walloon parties compete with each other in Belgium's capital Brussels. Nieuw Vlaamse Alliantie, NVA. The Nieuw Vlaamse Alliantie, the new Flemish alliance in English, is a centre right to right wing Flemish regionalist party. They are liberal conservative, advocating for the free market and a reduction of tax rates. The NVA is critical about further EU integration and advocates for an independent Flanders within a confederation of European states. The party was founded in 2001 by members of the defunct political party, the Volksunie. It has been the largest party in Belgium since the 2010 election and entered into coalition on the federal level after the 2014 election, but left the federal government in late 2018. The party leader is 48-year-old historian Bart de Wever. De Wever entered politics as a student at the Katholieke Universiteit Leuven and was elected to the District Council of Berchem in 1996 for the Volksunie. He was one of the founding members of the party in 2001 and has been party leader since 2004. Under his leadership, the party has progressively moved to the right on the issue of immigration and become more critical towards further EU integration. He is currently an MP in the Chamber of Representatives and Mayor of Antwerp. The party used to be the main party in the government since 2014, but it left the government coalition in 2018 due to its opposition to the government's ratification of the Global Compact for Migration. The NVA is part of the European Free Alliance Party and sat with the Greens European Free Alliance Group until 2014. After the 2014 European election, due to its position on European integration and its economic platform, it sits with the National Conservative, European Conservatives and Reformists in the European Parliament. Parti Socialist, PS. The Parti Socialist, or the Socialist Party, is a social democratic party which operates in Wallonia and Brussels. It promotes a strong welfare state in Belgium and a transition towards a green economy. It supports further European integration. The Socialist Party emerged from the linguistic split of the Belgian Socialist Party in 1978. With a brief exception between 2007 and 2010, the Socialist Party has been the largest party in election results in national elections in Wallonia since its creation. The leader of the Socialist Party is Elio Di Rupo, a 67-year-old chemist. He entered politics in 1982 when he was elected to the city council of Mons, a city where he was mayor for 18 years. When he became Prime Minister of Belgium in 2011, he became the first openly gay head of government in the European Union. He held the post of Prime Minister until 2014, when he and the Socialist Party returned to opposition. The Socialist Party is a member of the Party of European Socialists and sits with the Socialists and Democrats group in the European Parliament. It is also a member of the Socialist International, alongside many centre-left parties, including the African National Congress of South Africa. Christen Democratis and Vlaams, CDNV the Christian Democratis and Vlaams, Christian Democratic and Flemish, is a Christian Democratic centrite party. The party supports a market economy with a moderately strong welfare state. 
It also advocates for a climate-neutral society by 2050, the integration of immigrants, and supports further European integration. The CDNV has roots in the Catholic bloc, formed in 1868. The modern party was founded in 1968 as the Christelijke Volkspartij, or the Christian People's Party, after the split of the Christian Social Party into Flemish, French-speaking and German-speaking parties. It acquired its current name after a rebrand in 2001. Walter Beke, a 44-year-old lawyer, has been the party leader since 2010. He started his political career as a municipal councillor in 2001. He became a senator in 2004 and held that post until he was elected a deputy in the Federal Chamber of Representatives in 2014. He was briefly acting chairman for a two-month period in 2008 after the resignation of Etienne Schuppe as party chairman. The CDNV retains strong ties with its French-speaking and German-speaking counterparts in Brussels and Wallonia, the Humanistic Democratic Centre and the Christian Social Party respectively. It is a founding member of the Transnational European People's Party, with the first president of the European People's Party, Leo Tindemans, being a member of the CDNV. Open Vlaamse Liberalen en Democraten, Open VLD The Open Vlaamse Liberalen en Democraten, the Open Flemish Liberals and Democrats, is a liberal party. The party is generally liberal on economic issues and progressive on social issues. They support the removal of bureaucratic and tax barriers for entrepreneurs, a limit to unemployment benefits, and a small government. It supports a transition to renewable energy and diversity in Belgian society. It is very supportive of further European integration. The Open VLD traces its history back to the Liberal Party founded in 1846. The Liberal Party was transformed into the Party for Freedom and Progress in 1961, which in turn was split along linguistic lines in 1972. In 1992, the party was rebranded and renamed the Vlaamse Liberalen and Democraten, the Flemish Liberals and Democrats, adding the Open to the VLD in 2008. The current chairwoman of the party is Gwendolyn Rutten. She was a member of the Belgian Chamber of Representatives from 2010 to 2014 and a member of the Flemish Parliament from 2014 to 2017. She has been the mayor of Aarschot since February 2019. The party has been in the federal government since 1999 as a senior coalition partner from 1999 until 2008 and a junior coalition partner since then. The Open VLD keeps up relations with its French-speaking liberal counterpart in Brussels and Wallonia, the reformist movement. It is a member of ALDE, the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats in the Europe Party, and sits with a group in the European Parliament. Guy Verhofstadt, a member of the Open VLD, has been the leader of ALDE in the European Parliament since 2009. Mouvement Reformateur, MR the Mouvement Reformateur, or the Reformist Movement in English, is a liberal party advocating for the cut of taxes. It does not oppose immigration to Belgium, regarding it as a positive for the society, but highlights its commitment to fight illegal immigration and secure Belgium's borders. It supports a European-level climate policy and the development of the EU single market. It was founded as a coalition of minor liberal parties in Wallonia and Brussels before the 1994 European elections. The members of the coalition merged to become a single party in 2002. The party has participated in every federal government since 1999. Charles Michel, a graduated lawyer, became president of the party in 2019. At age 18, he was elected provincial councillor in Walloon-Brabant and then elected to the Chamber of Representatives in 1999 and has remained within the body ever since. Charles Michel has held several ministerial positions and has been Prime Minister of Belgium since 2014. He previously held the post of party leader between 2011 and 2014 but stepped down when he became Prime Minister. The MR is currently the biggest party in the minority government ever since the NVA left. It is a member of the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats in Europe Party and sits with their group in the European Parliament. 
Socialistische Partij Anders, SPA. De Socialistische Partij Anders, of de Socialist Party Differently, is a social democratic party. It is progressive on social issues, supporting multiculturalism and minority rights. It also has a progressive center-left economic platform with a strong welfare state, investment in public services and a green transition. It promotes further European integration. The party was founded as a socialist party in 1978, but can trace its history back to the Belgian Labour Party, founded in 1885. The SPA was founded after the split of the Belgian Socialist Party along linguistic lines. In the 1990s and 2000s, the party followed its sister social democratic parties across Europe and moved towards the political centre. But in 2011, under the leadership of Bruno Tobac, it moved decisively back to its roots on the left. Since 2015, the leader of the party has been Jean Crombe, a 45-year-old economist. He worked in numerous positions within the party before being elected to the Flemish parliament in 2009. He held his seat until he was appointed Federal Secretary of State for combating social and tax fraud in 2011 as a member of the Dirupo cabinet. After his time in the federal government, he returned to the Flemish parliament until 2015 when he became the leader of the party and a lecturer in public finance at Hasselt University. The SPA retains ties with its French-speaking counterpart in Brussels and Wallonia, the Socialist Party. It is a member of the Party of European Socialists and sits with the Socialists and Democrats group in the European Parliament. Through its membership of Progressive Alliance, it has ties with the Democratic Party in the USA or the Party of Mahatma or Sonia Gandhi, the Indian National Congress. Groen Groen is a green political party on the center-left to left wing of the political spectrum. It has a progressive economic platform and advocates for a high taxation of the rich, participatory democracy, diversity and environmentalism. It supports further European integration. The party was founded in 1982 as Agalev. The party grew out of a social movement in the late 1970s of the same name which combined progressive Catholicism and environmentalism. It took a leading role in anti-nuclear energy protests in the 1980s and grew in this period. Its growth pushed traditional Belgian parties to take a more serious and active approach to climate change and environmentalism. After the 1999 federal election, it entered into coalition on the national level for the first and only time, joining the first Verhofstadt cabinet. After an abysmal federal election result in 2003, it underwent the transformation and changed its name to Groen. Since 2014, the leader of Groen has been Mayrem Almaci, a 43-year-old social worker. She is the daughter of Turkish immigrants and holds dual Belgian-Turkish citizenship. She was elected to the Belgian Chamber of Representatives in 2007 and is currently the leader of the Groen Ecolo fraction within the chamber. Groen has strong ties with its Green sister party in Brussels and Wallonia, Ecolo. It is a member of the European Green Party and sits with the Green European Free Alliance in the European Parliament. Centre Democrate Humaniste, CDH The Centre Democrate Humaniste, the Humanist Democratic Centre, is a humanist and centre-right party. The party supports a limited welfare state and limited state intervention in the economy. The CDH defends the unity of Belgium, but it supports the transfer of the competence to levy taxes to the regions. The party supports further European integration. The CDH was founded in 1968 as a Christian social party, together with the Flemish predecessors of the CDNV. After the language disputes of the early 1970s, the party split with the Flemish section off to form the independent Parti Social Chrétien in 1972. In 2001, it adopted the new party statutes and moved away from its Christian past, moving towards the left. Maxime Prévost, a 41-year-old political scientist, is the president of the party. He has been a member of the Walloon Parliament since 2009, 
with a brief pause between 2014 and 17. He has also been a vice president of the Walloon government and is currently the mayor of the provincial capital of Wallonia, Namur. The CDH is a member of the European People's Party and sits with a group in the European Parliament. Vlaams Belang Vlaams Belang, or Flemish Interest, is a right-wing Flemish nationalist party. It advocates for an independent state Flanders, politically separated from the rest of Belgium. It supports free market capitalism and neoliberal economic policies, but has recently also supported pro-welfare state policies. The party strongly opposes multiculturalism and immigration. It has called for the closure of Belgium borders on a number of occasions, and advocates a repatriation of immigrants who reject the neophyte Flemish cultural and certain European values. Vlaams Belang opposes further European integration, supporting the return of certain powers to member states and transforming the EU into a confederal Europe of sovereign states which share a single market. The party was founded in 2004 after a ruling by the Belgian Court of Cassation disbanded the Vlaams Bloc for continued and repeated incitement to rediscrimination. The new party was a de facto continuation of the Vlaams Bloc, a fact acknowledged by its first chairman, Frank van Hecke. Their popularity has steadily decreased in the early 2000s, due to the rise of the more moderate pro-Flemish independence party NVA. The party leader of Vlaams Blanc is 32-year-old Tom van Grieken. He has been a member of the Municipal Council of Mortsel, a superb of Antwerp, since 2007, and a member of the Flemish Parliament since 2014. He became party leader in 2014 in a bid to revitalize the party with a youthful new leader. The other parties at the regional and national level have upheld a cordon sanitaire around the party, refusing to cooperate or enter into coalitions with this party. The Vlaams Belang currently sits with the right-wing political group Europe of Nations and Freedom in the European Parliament. Ecologist confédéré pour l'organisation de lutte originale, Ecolo. Ecolo is a green party. The party supports a quick transition away from fossil fuels to an economy based on renewable energies. It supports multiculturalism and tolerance for non-Belgians and an expansion and strengthening of the welfare state. It takes a very pro-European stance in both European and national politics. It supports further integration of the European Union. It was founded in 1980 and grew out of the anti-nuclear movement and the Belgian section of the Friends of the Earth. It grew significantly in the 1980s and 1990s, eventually entering the federal government as part of the first Verhofstadt's cabinet from 1999 to 2003. ECLO has two co-presidents who lead the party. Firstly, Zakia Katabi has been co-president since 2015. She is a social worker who first became a deputy in the Chamber of Representatives and Senator, but currently does not hold an elected office. Jean-Marc Nollet has been the other co-president since November 2018. He is a political scientist who was between 2009 and 2014 vice president of the Walloon government and also vice president of the government of the Belgian French community. Like its Flemish counterpart Groen, Ecolo is a member of the European Green Party and sits with the Green European Free Alliance in the European Parliament. Defi Defi is a small liberal party. It promotes social liberalism, humanism and, in recent years, laïcité in Belgium. It is also a strong supporter of the French-speaking rights for the French-speaking inhabitants in the Flemish municipalities surrounding the Brussels region. The party was founded in 1964 as the Front Démocratique des Francophones, or FDF, in response to the language laws of 1962, which designated the official languages of the regions of Belgium. In 1996, FDF joined the alliance Mouvement Réformateur, but left in 2011 due to disagreements with Charles Michel during the 2010-2011 Belgian government formation crisis.
The party adopted its current name in 2015 as an acronym of Démocrate Fédéraliste Indépendant. The 60-year-old lawyer, Olivier Menguin, is the leader of the party. He has been in his post since 1995. He has been a member of the Chamber of Representatives since 1999 and mayor of the town of Volueve saint lambert since 2006. In the past, the party was elected as the Front Démocratique des Francophones and sat with the non inscrit in the European Parliament. In 1999, it was elected as part of Mouvement Réformateur and sat with the European Liberal Democrat and Reform Party, a predecessor of the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats in Europe. It currently does not have any links to European parties or groups in the European Parliament. Parti Populaire PP. The Parti Populaire is a right-wing party. It is economically liberal, supporting the lowering of taxes and public spending. It strongly opposes non-European immigration into Belgium, calling for the establishment of safe zones for refugees outside Europe and for Belgium to withdraw from the Global Compact for Migration. The Parti Populaire supports a reform of the European Union, with the President of Europe being elected by universal suffrage and strong function limits. The party also supports the abolishment of the European Commission and the reduction in the number of MEPs. The party was founded in 2009 by Rudy Arnaud and Michael Modigamen. They successfully gained a seat in the Chamber of Representatives the next year, but the two founders had a public falling out and Arnaud was expelled from the party. The current leader of the Parti Populaire is Michael Modricamen, a 53-year-old lawyer. Before the party's foundation, Modricamen wrote opinion pieces in newspapers about the clash of the Western civilization and Islam. He was vice president of the Alliance for Direct Democracy in Europe from its founding until its dissolution in 2016. In 2014, despite not having a single MEP, the Parti Populaire was one of the founding parties of the Alliance for Direct Democracy in Europe, once the European Party of the Europe of Freedom and Direct Democracy Group. In 2018, the party has shown a willingness to join other Eurosceptic groups. There is only one major party which competes for the votes of all Belgians, no matter whether they live in Flanders or Wallonia. Partij van de Arbeid van België, Partij du Travail de Belgique, PVDA, PTV. The Partij van de Arbeid van België, Partij du Travail de Belgique, or the Workers' Party of Belgium, is a left-wing party which operates all across Belgium. The PVDA, PTB, supports the reduction of taxes on the working class while imposing taxes on the wealthy and big corporations. It further advocates for the expansion of the public sector, strong protection of social and economic rights, and the creation of a new public bank. The PVDA PTB is critical of further integration of the EU in its current form, criticizing it as overly neoliberal. The PVDA PTB was founded in 1979, rising out of a student movement in the Catholic University of Leuven. The party was influenced by communist movements around the world but particularly the Maoism practiced in the People's Republic of China at the time. At the party conference in 2008, the new leader Peter Mertens announced a reorientation of the party, denouncing Maoism and Stalinism. Since the reorientation of the party, it has grown in prominence throughout Belgium, but particularly in Bologna. The party is currently led by Peter Mertens, a 49-year-old writer. Since 2012, he has been a member of the City Council of Antwerp. The PVDA PTB has never been elected to the European Parliament, but is an associate member of the European United Left Nordic Green Left Group in the European Parliament.